hello welcome back to my channel so it's late in the evening i just want to do a quick video to give you an update on the front flower garden it's a windy day and i find all the tulips are blowing away so if if i wait until in the morning i may lose them all so i say let's come out though it's a little late in the evening and my be the best quality i said let's come out and get a quick um snap of the um front flower garden so i'll just do that now and just show you what has happened since um i showed you the last video with it being um winter with snow on the lawn the grass being brown so yeah so let me just show you what it is looking like and this is my first tour for um for this season from may of 2023 so starting from here we'll see yes so that's the barberry that's one looking beautiful that's always a showstopper throughout the year and this three here with its beautiful bloom just gorgeous mind you it's a small front flower garden but i'm I'm planning on um, expanding over the next couple of months so please stay tuned to see how the it has progressed another little one there yes and this one here that's uh, a, a lily I sort of forget the name of that one another little one here I like this and this tend to bloom throughout the, the summer season there's a poppy here don't know how this lonely poppy ends up over here um i guess that's the work of the squirrel and um yeah there's my tulips as you can see see they are falling on the ground it's a windy day so yes and that's why i ran out to get this video quite um you know before all the tulips are gone that's my astas there and um these are my lilies which i'm still just growing one lonely tulips i had i normally i'm doing my tulips i like to plant them in a group of at least six to eight and you can see the, the squirrels they have eaten whatever they like and yes yeah, so i end up with one lonely one there and that's my shrub over there i really like the variation in that sh um, shrub and the color pattern and that's the crimson cream uh, maple Japanese maple in the corner there that's a, a clematis I I planted that last year and um, yes yeah, so it's just coming true I have to get a vine for it to run on us yeah and this um, shrub here that's the asteria I think that is yes that's another one with beautiful color throughout the season another hostess yeah. and this is Sashtia daisy I planted this last year it didn't bloom so I'm hoping it will put on a show this year and the rose it's just um getting a couple leaves here and there has some dry ones i need to come out and get rid of those so the plant can thrive there's another tulip there you go. another hostess and another shrub there also like the variation in the colors of this one another tulip and you can see for this one a lot of leaves are all over the place so you see this is why i really ran out when i looked out and saw the tulips so let me go click at a video so i can show everyone what the garden is looking like at this time yeah, and that's another um shashtia daisy um the other ones seem to be growing much faster i guess that's a better location but um, that's another one there i'll see what happened that's a lily over there and again a few um a few tulips here and i said the squirrels decided to take some so what can i do and this is a beautiful little one here not sure of its name but i really like this and it changes its color throughout the season and a little ostracide put here and then 
sorry about the wind guys sorry about that and this is um the label hydrangea and that's it here getting ready to put on the show get luscious and what a view and just the rose of sharon and some more lilies there okay so that's what i have um so far this is my first tour for the season and it's mid-may and yeah so there's still a lot of work to do i haven't put in my annuals as yet as i'm in zone five another shrub there i'm in zone five and our frost date is up until the 23rd so we're getting some warm days but come evenings it gets really really cool so yeah so we're just playing it safe and i'm um, not putting anything in the ground as yet but well, hopefully soon so that's what i have up to date it's not much because it's a small front garden but i just thought i'd share this with my viewers hope you like the video Yes, and all this I'll need to plant up soon. So lots more coming. I still don't have any baskets hanging or any floral arrangement. But as I said, in another two weeks, everything should be out and up. And there'll be more colors. And hope by then I'll be able to expand the bed. Thanks for taking your time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for your time and you have yourself a great day. Bye-bye now.